Now, let me say what we've all been thinking. It's been a heavy day with all the wars and geopolitical turmoil, and it's only Wednesday. So let's end on a lighter note. Our last story tonight is about bald ibis. These are migratory birds known for their bald red head and long curved beak. 300 years ago, they went extinct in Central Europe. But thanks to breeding efforts, they have come back from extinction. But because they were gone for centuries, they have forgotten how to migrate. So scientists are teaching them how to do it by flying along with them and showing them the way and shouting words of encouragement. Here's a report. 300 years. That's how long Central Europe did not see a bald ibis for. Bald ibis or waldrops are known for their bald red head and long curved beak. They were once common across North Africa and much of Europe. But they were considered a delicacy. So they were widely hunted and their habitats were destroyed due to rampant deforestation. So their numbers dropped and they went extinct in Central Europe. But scientists increased efforts to boost their populations. And over the past two decades, they've been successful. Now their numbers are close to 800 and the bald ibis have come back from extinction in Central Europe. But there's a catch. Bald ibis are migratory birds but they no longer know how to migrate. They don't know where to go or which course to take because they didn't receive guidance from their wild ancestors. Migratory birds rely on learned information that's passed down to them. The new generation of wild ibis doesn't have that privilege. And this is a cause for concern. Without the knowledge of direction, the bald ibis will not know where to fly for winter. They still have the natural urge to migrate, so they try to fly. But over the past few years, when the birds did try to migrate on their own, instead of reaching suitable wintering grounds, they flew in different directions and died. So scientists are stepping in. They are acting as the birds' foster parents. Have you watched the 1996 movie, Fly Away Home? In the movie, the main character flies a plane to show orphaned geese their migratory path. Now scientists are doing something similar in real life. Researchers aboard a small plane are teaching birds how to migrate, how to follow their long-forgotten migration routes. And a battalion of 36 endangered birds are diligently following the aircraft from Austria to Spain. Scientists are using parenting techniques. They are building a bond with the birds so that the bald ibis trusts them. They are waving at the birds and shouting encouragement at them as they fly. Now, that's some good parenting. The project is still underway. The trip could take 50 days to complete. This is the first such attempt to reintroduce migratory species. And scientists hope that it's successful. Because with climate change, the warming world is changing how birds migrate. For migration, timing is key. So, with spring shifting earlier, and blooms popping out of schedule, hundreds of bird species have had to change not only their own timing, but also their paths. And in many cases, this proves deadly. While a few scientists cannot stop climate change, maybe they can teach the birds how to migrate differently. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.